For a long time I was planning to build a DIY spot welder. I ordered all the parts and I wanted something that is built by me. It's also cost effective and reliable. A lot of DIY projects you are seeing on YouTube are only lasting for a short period of time. So I found a broken microwave, I removed the transformer, but I never ended up building it. I ordered the Sanko 709 and it's a great unit. It did the job great, but it took so much space and it was awkward to move it around. After seeing this uh, compact spot welder, I really got excited and I placed the order. Today it arrived, let's open the box and let's see if it lives up to the hype. Very well uh, packed. We have here the instructions and it is in English and Chinese. All right, we'll put this aside. We have here a bunch of tips. Also came with this uh, 18650 holder. You have uh, the paddle. And look how small this is. It's actually hefty. It's made uh, out of aluminum. It feels really nice. The edges are so well done. Please do not open it without permission. Let's remove the plastic. It looks really cool. You have the XT90 connector thing, I believe, for the LiPo. Battery to power off. Here is where the foot pad goes and this is the output. This looks really solid. Uh, looks really like it's a high quality product. Let's look what else sits in the box. We have a uh, six gauge high quality silicone wires, very flexible, good connectors, not those uh, fake reproductions and the solder and the heat shrink is so well done here. And the tips, this is uh, the handles, that's pretty much it. The battery holders, 18650s, which are very useful. Let's open one of the tips. I'd be curious to see how long they last, uh, these tips. I like how everything is very nicely wrapped, very well uh, put together package. By looking at the solder ends, really nicely done. I'm not sure how much this weighs, but uh, it feels like somewhere about 800 grams, maybe 500 grams. Very consistent, very solid. Just a comparison, this is my hand and it's almost the size of my palm, I can hold it in my hand. This is to compare the size of them. Look how small and compact it is. And this is 10S Galaxy Samsung. I've been looking for something like that for a long, long time and I haven't came across a, such a compact unit. And we need to use the screwdriver. I always carry with me a Leatherman Wave Plus. So you have to untie both screws. Now this plate is gonna move out more and you'll be able to slide in the tip. Screw it back, make sure it's tight and it's a clean connection. Right here, if you can see, it pa passes, so make sure it doesn't go past the edge right here, but at the same time, it's touching the entire length of the plate, so there's more surface, so the current travels faster and easier. Tighten really well, make sure they lined up perfectly. So this is the first option that uh, you can use. It connects uh, to the uh, foot uh, indicator here. So what you do is you connect to the head of the cell. I don't have a cell here. And uh, once you start spot welding, you connect to the surface and you can uh, see here, once you push this down and you hear this click, it releases the current and will spot weld. Uh, so that's the first option. And the second option will be using this type of uh, handles make sure you connect in out and this is the type of the um, handles you can use have the tips make sure they're really tighten here uh, the foot paddle is gonna go right here on the side so once you set this up the benefit of the second option is that once you connect the surface of the cell and you have uh, a secure grip and you have it exactly where you want it so the benefit is that uh, these are separated so you can actually work on a bigger battery and uh, the beauty of the second option is that you have this set up so when you connect with both hands exactly when, where you want to spot weld you press the foot pedal and you finish the, the weld. Uh, two options, whichever is more convenient for you, you can use. Uh, that's pretty, pretty handy. So presentation-wise, uh, the foot pad 
looks solid, looks well. Just uh, the way CNC is just perfect. Just look at this connector, how it's sitting flush on both sides. Look at the edges, the writing, everything is just exceptionally well done. I place those links in description how to properly make a battery. So all my big or small batteries, I use uh, fuses, uh, which I recommend you strongly to do also for e-bikes, scooters, or uh, e-boards or mountain boards. It will be much safer to keep that uh, board in your house in case something goes bad. So this will be ideal because you don't need anything uh, bigger than what's uh, recommended here to spot weld. And uh, I think it's maybe prematurely to say that, uh, but just by judging uh, the quality of the presentation. I have um, high hopes that this will uh, perform extremely well, but stay tuned for that. I really like that it's light, compact, two different handles allowing you to easily work on different size batteries without any space constraints versus other compact DIY spot welders available today on the market. This looks best for me. Enclosure, design, additional accessories, looks like an Apple phone to me. We're still in the holiday season and there's shipping delay, so I haven't received my LiPo battery yet, and this will be unboxing only, but as soon as I get it, We'll do a test together here. If you have any questions, if I missed anything important down below, please like and share this video and I'll see you next time.